Greetings and congratulations on holding this important forum today. I want to thank SEPA and the New Strategy Center for inviting me in my role as chair of the Senate Foreign Relations Subcommittee that oversees Europe and as co-chair of the Senate NATO Observer Group. The United States is proud to lead global support for Ukraine, and we are heartened by the significant contributions made by our NATO allies and our partners. I'm encouraged by the growing urgency among many allies to increase defense spending and contribute to our collective defense. As allies, we must do more for Ukraine and maintain transatlantic unity at every turn. This is particularly important because the war reflects a broader fight for our shared democratic values. We cannot give up on a Ukrainian victory because if Putin is successful in Ukraine, there is no telling where he'll stop. Together with our NATO allies, we've proven that the transatlantic bond is stronger than ever before. I am confident that the upcoming NATO summit will convey a message of unity and strength in support of Ukraine and our shared values. Finland's accession was a critical step to bolster the alliance. The United States continues to urge Turkey and Hungary to swiftly approve Sweden's entry to NATO. Our unity of purpose and determination to show Vladimir Putin that he cannot dictate a sovereign country's future is fundamental to our response. Putin's expansionist agenda has been clear in the Black Sea region, starting with Georgia in 2008 and continuing with its annexation of Crimea in 2014. I am proud to champion a bipartisan bill that would establish a U.S. interagency strategy on the Black Sea and strengthen support to our partners in the region. On a recent congressional delegation visit to Romania, I expressed my appreciation for Romania's considerable contributions to support Ukraine's military and humanitarian efforts. The United States appreciates Romania's support to NATO and welcomes its leadership to increase focus on the Black Sea region. And while we must not turn our attention from Ukraine, we must maintain vigilance against Putin's malign influence in Europe. The Western Balkans remain a fragile region. Although North Macedonia and Albania have been granted EU accession talks, some countries in the region continue to struggle economically and with democratic reforms. That's why I introduced bipartisan legislation with Senator Wicker to further commit our administration to supporting this region. From the Balkans to the Black Sea, we must provide much needed support to fragile democracies and fight for our transatlantic values. We cannot take our eyes off our commitment. Ukraine is fighting for its future, but it's also fighting for the future of democracies around the globe. Thank you all.